Someone once came to the Lubavitcher Rebbe and asked him, how can you still believe in God after the Holocaust? Like, how? To which the Rebbe responded, you want me to rely on man instead? Laws and morals made and decided by man constantly shift. They can change from one day to the next. Every country upholds different sets of values, but they can always be reassessed. You can see this with the coronavirus. Welcome to Espresso. I have a cup. But it's not espresso. So we'll wait for Razel. <laughs> Sorry. It's welcome until Espresso. Let's go down. Guys, you guys, check out this beautiful, beautiful spot. We are now on Patreon. If you enjoy our videos and like what we do, join the Espresso Club. Support our work and help us grow with a monthly pledge. Go to patreon.com forward slash espresso club. Exactly how you see here. Sweet and simple. Thank you. Yep. All right, we're on the way down. So it's your first time here? No, no. no, no. So unusual for Sydney Harbour and uh, it's, it's a unique location. After the world was created, was Noah. Oh, never mind. <laughs> Thank you. After the world was destroyed by the flood, Noah, who had built himself an ark with all the animals inside, steps out to resettle the world. But not just yet. God gives Noah seven principles for all of humanity to for all of humanity to adapt to ensure that this world will always be in line with its purpose and a world where its inhabitants live with a set of basic morals. Here they are. One, a justice system. Two, <laughs> blasphemy. Cursing. Three, believing in one God. Fun here. Four, no adultery, illicit intercourse, an honest and trustful world. Five, no murder. Six, no <laughs> theft. Seven, no eating a limb of a living animal. Basically, no animal cruelty. So just imagine a world where there's not even a possibility of war, a place where the Holocaust could never have happened, no cruelty to animals, no cheating, a place where people are honest and trust each other, a world where... Our core values don't rely on politics. <laughs> this Sorry. <laughs> this is a moral structure set by God. God would not have created this world without giving us a sort of basic yeah, value system for everyone. Unlike laws made by man, it doesn't change from one day to the next. God promised he will never destroy the world again. So he presented the rainbow. God told Noah, Zot otabit asher hakimoti. Beni uben kol basar asher al This is the bond, the sign which I have um, established. established between me and all flesh and blood. Seven colors representing the seven laws. So next time that you see a rainbow, or even better when you finish watching the video. Inspire your friends, your family, the people around you to keep these seven principles. Imagine if everyone did. It'd be amazing. Hashem wants you to make this world the best place it could be. So, play a part. Well, I'm from Roseville. Marina. Thank you. Appreciate it. Thank you. Bye. Bye. Back to where we began. Exactly where we began. This time we just had a ride up.